Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. This is Eric, and today we're talking about Joe Kelly again, and he was actually suspended eight games by Major League Baseball for incident with Astros. And there's a lot of different opinions on this. I'm going to give you mine. Um, if you haven't checked out my video yesterday, check it out where I talk about the whole incident. I got it on, um, we watched the uh, the recording, and then I go ahead and talk about it. And a lot of people in the comments very upset. A lot of them obviously didn't watch the entire video because I got comments like, dude, what are you talking about? You think he hit the, you think he, he tried to hit Correa on purpose with a uh, off-speed pitch? You're an idiot. And I'm like, no, I said specifically in the video, he probably was not trying to hit Correa on purpose with a breaking pitch. If you're going to hit a guy, you're usually going to throw a fastball. And I also acknowledged that you know he was all over the place and you know I'm not for sure if he was doing it intentionally or not and I also said that even if he uh, was he didn't hit anybody so I didn't think that there would be any suspensions given out but uh, turned out I was wrong but the biggest thing that uh, people got pissed off at me was uh, the thing I didn't expect was people telling me what are you talking about you don't know nothing about baseball you got to throw a guy's heads that's 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 what you do I'm like what I, I was always told you don't throw at a guy's head because you could end their career or potentially kill them so yeah you know since you know I'm not really into psychopathic behavior and most people who are sane and not you know you know psychopaths don't want that no matter how much they dislike another player so yeah throwing at the head head hunting I don't think there's a place for that I said that and I'm gonna stand by that there's not a place for that in Major League Baseball or baseball period you don't throw at a guy's head you could throw at them anywhere you can hit them anywhere it's gonna hurt you could throw anywhere you could throw at a guy's butt you can throw at his back you throw at his thigh area and you know at least their lives aren't in danger and uh, you're sending a message whatever you know it's part of the game it's one of those unwritten rules hey you know it's it, that's part of the game I, I understand that that's part of the game and people are not gonna let that part go but head hunting why would you throw at a guy's brain I don't understand that why would you throw at a guy's brain uh, oh, he's wearing a helmet. He'll be fine. Um, but you know, anyway, a lot of people in the com a lot of people in the comments, surprisingly, were just um, you know insisting that if you think throwing at the head is not okay, then you don't know nothing about baseball. I felt that was just stupid. But anyway, let's get back to uh, Joe Kelly. And like I said, he didn't hit anybody, and he was all over the place. And I stand by that. And if you watch the entire inning. It is hard to say 100% that he was throwing at them, even though people will tell me that. I'm not convinced of that because he was all over the place. What I what I did see was when he was walking off, he definitely engaged with the Astros, who were probably yelling at him from the bench for those two head for those two shots around the head area. So they were yelling at him. You know, we heard Dusty Baker yell, "Man, get back on the mound, you little effer." So uh, yeah, they were they were not they were not pleased with Joe Kelly. They were not having it, and uh, the bench was letting him know. Kelly turned around and. You know, made the gestures back with the sad face. And the bench is cleared, and, and it happened. And uh, I, I understand Major League Baseball, especially this season with the pandemic, are not going to have benches being cleared, so they wanted to send a message. But suspending Joe Kelly for eight games, and they also suspended Dodgers manager uh, Dave Roberts for a game, and they even fined Dusty Baker. The eight-game one is the, really, the one that really gets me. Like, whoa, eight games. And again, if you're talking about a full 162 season, that's going to be over 20 games. I mean, that's going to be a lot of games right there. You're missing 21 games or so of lost. No, you would never get suspended for 21 games for not hitting somebody. Yes, it's a pandemic going on. Yes, I understand Major League Baseball is not going to have this, and they want to let people know. But I think that eight was, it, it feels a little bit harsh. There's no doubt about that. It feels a little bit harsh for you, when you take two things into account. Number one, he didn't hit anybody. And number two, he was all over the place, and, and it's hard to prove when you watch it that he did it intentionally, especially because he said, hey, he didn't know where the ball was going, and, and, he, and he clearly didn't. If he was just aiming for their head, then why was he so wild? I mean, he was wild. He was all over the place. I believe that with Correa, he threw a curve and it got away from him, and I believe with uh, Bregman, he had that 3-0 count, and he said, I'm letting this baby fly. He said, screw it. If I walk him, I walk him where it goes is where it goes, and maybe he was aiming for the inside corner. Maybe he was... Uh, you know, thinking, hey, if I hit him, I don't even care. Um, or maybe he was going for the head, which, you know, I mean, everybody wants to have this hard, definite um, opinion where they're very passionate about it and they'll cuss you out over it and all that, where I'm just saying I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, there's not enough there to know. If there was enough there to know, then I would 
I would say I'm pretty damn sure that this happened. I'm not pretty damn sure. I would say it's definitely possible he threw at Bregman. It is possible he threw at his head and tried to hit him in the freaking head and, and, and basically kill the dude or, or freaking seriously hurt the dude. Um, but I don't think so. I don't think that he went for the head intentionally. I think he was just very, very wild. But I do think he's also a little bit crazy. And I think that Joe Kelly, wasn't he wasn't going to back down from anybody. He wasn't going to, you know, put his hand on say, I'm sorry, man, that was an accident, which is what I would do. But, you know, I'm not Joe Kelly. If I throw a guy's head on accident, I may immediately say, oh, man, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I make a gesture so that they know it was an accident. And maybe that thing never escalates like it did. But Joe Kelly's not like that. Joe Kelly's a freaking beast. He's like, man, I ain't freaking, I don't care. He doesn't care if he does hit him. So Joe Kelly walking off, you know, didn't show, you know, any kind of a remorse or anything. Instead, you know, there was a sad face and uh, it just caused things to escalate. And I think the Major League Baseball should have done something, but I think eight games is a little bit harsh. Now, obviously, certain people, Astros fans, my girl, a world traveler, she's going to say, no, that he should have been suspended for more games. Um, but uh, then again, like she said, she's an Astros fan. So, you know, there's reasons why different people... People are gonna have different opinions on this. Um, for me, eight games. I mean, I thought if anything, maybe get suspended one or two just to send a little message where it's not that big a deal because the Dodgers don't have to use him. You know, he comes out of the bullpen, they'll be okay for a game or two. But eight games is actually gonna hurt the Dodgers because now they can't use Joe Kelly for eight games. Obviously, I'm a Giants fan. If I wanted to be totally biased, I'd be like, oh, I'm happy about it. But um, that's not what I do on this channel. As you guys know the truth and my honest opinion, and my opinion could change. My opinion could change from talking to you guys when you come at me with um, a little bit of logic and come up to me with a little bit of respect instead of just being an asshole and cussing me out because that just doesn't get anybody anywhere, which is what I got a lot in the last video. So that's where I'm at right now. I think that the sp suspension feels a little bit harsh because I don't know if he threw him on purpose. He said he didn't, and he was very, very wild, and he didn't actually hit anybody. So, I mean, I'm kind of in the middle, but I guess you could say maybe I have a reason to be against the Dodgers. But in this particular case, I think that the punishment was a little too harsh. I think eight games a little too harsh with the evidence that I see. Um, feel free to have a conversation with me and try to convince me otherwise, because, again, I will uh, be convinced. I can change my opinion. I mean, this is just where I'm at right now. I believe that Joe Kelly, that it's hard to prove that he intentionally threw at their heads but I do, do see that he is kind of, you know, engaging back with the Astros and they're barking back and forth and it caused the dugouts to empty. So if you wanted to suspend him or punish him, I mean, I would have been okay with that. But eight games? That's a little harsh. That's all I'm saying. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Really appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, put your comments down below. And if you think that throwing at guys' heads is cool and should always be part of the game, and any time a pitcher wants to throw it ahead and, and try to, you know, crush someone's skull, they should be able to do that. Hey, you can have that opinion. You guys will not even get, engage me with that crap because, I mean, that's just psychopathic behavior, and that's just how I feel about it. I'm never changing my mind on that. I, maybe you don't know. Maybe you just don't understand what kind of damage can be caused by a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. I don't care whether you got a helmet or not. Maybe you just don't understand or you just don't care because you just think, hey, you know, hey, not my life. I don't care. You know, that's called, you know, sociopath, psychopath. That's what that is. So you might want to think about that. So have a fantastic day. I'm going to talk to you real soon. Make sure you hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. Check out humbabybaseball.com. Look for a live stream later on tonight. See ya. When the Giants come to town, it's fine.